Hi, I'm Wade Yoder. This is a picture of Valley Athletic Club, 106 North Camellia Boulevard, taken before the collapse. This is video footage from the four security cameras in Valley Athletic Club. It was the video footage that was on June the 29th of 2000. It shows all the activity and it has the uh, last three minutes prior to the collapse. We show this part of this same video footage in slow motion later in this video. Walter Johnson and Fabian Thorpe are in the bottom right camera using the bench. Walter's in the white shirt, He's standing behind the bench right now. He's actually on the bench when the building collapses. Fabian Thorpe is the one spotting him at the bench. Fabian walks to the door and he looks out. He says to see what the weather looked like. And then he walks back over to the bench to spot Walter and on the top right screen, top, I'm sorry, top left screen, at time 18, 1855 is the exact time that the building collapses. You'll see the bottom two screens are the front room. These are the ones that collapse. The top two screens are the room that the ones that could make it into, it did not collapse. In the top right screen, you'll see Abel Aguilar run out. This was seen just prior to us running out to get back into the building from the outside where Walter was trapped at. We knew Walter and Fabian. Those were the two that we knew were up in the front part and after we assessed what happened and gathered our senses, we run to the outside to help Walter get out of where he was trapped at. And these top two cameras, the left and right top screens, this kept videotaping, this footage kept going until we went outside got to get Walter out and I discovered that it was electric electrical shock going on in that area and I told the others to hold it right there while I run back inside and turn the main off and that's when these two cameras discontinued videotaping. The fire department and the rescue unit came in quite soon after it happened, probably within about five to, si five to six minutes after the collapse, the fire department and the rescue unit were there. This is where we went in at to get Walter. It was supported by the Power Act. The, this is also, we went down in there, this was the area that Walter was at, right in here. This is the bench press that Walter was using and Fabian was spotting him when it collapsed. He was about 10 feet away from this bench on his stomach. This is a slow video play of approximately the last three seconds. You will see Walter and Fabian over at this bench that we just showed on the screen just prior to this. This is in slow motion the last five seconds. You will also see Abel Aguilar 
come in from the right side camera and fellow Knowlton or Mitch, he comes out just ahead of the collapse. Both of these come, uh, these members just came out ahead of the collapse. John Cooney is walking towards the front. When he gets close up to the front where he was walk, going to walk into, he sees it start happening and turns and runs and is passed by fellow Knowlton. That's fellow Moulton and John Cooney that just run past the camera on the top right screen. That is Spencer Statham's daughter on the right screen. In just a little bit, you'll see Abel Aguilar coming from the dust and the the falling sheetrock on the right side top camera. There he comes now. That's Abel Aguilar. This is the point that I ran out into the gym from the office to see what happened. And after I saw that the front part of the gym collapsed, I turned around to run back to make sure that Chastity and everybody was out from the back part of the building. And when I come back out, that's when I called, called 911 to inform them of what happened. That's Chastity in the top right screen, Chastity Raw, Jeff Frederick, Eddie Cochran, John Cooney. That's Gary Jackson coming up into this area also. And that's fellow Knowlton coming back in also. We came up into this area and this is where we discovered for sure, or I found out from these members that there were two that were trapped in the front part. They knew that Fabian, Fabian Thorpe was up in there and that Walter Johnson had been at the bench. And this is, this is the point that I called 911 and then we got together run outside to help these members get out and we did help Walter get out. Fabian managed to work his way through from where he was trapped at, uh, where it collapsed on him and the area there. He was able to work his way out. This is a view from behind the bench that Walter was on. It collapsed on the bench and was laying right where his neck was. That's where the bar was.